the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 191, Isaiah 51-55 Blueprint of the Suffering Messiah The Savior, who was like an abundant stone by builders, would be used as the cornerstone in preparation of a wonderful event through God's grace. First point, God said that He would protect South Judah the way He protected Abraham. God told Isaiah that those who were righteous and turned to God would be consoled and saved. God promised that He would save South Judah the way He protected Abraham. Isaiah said that although the people would be taken as captives to Babylon, God will surely keep His promise and restore them. God gave Isaiah the courage and strength to believe in God, the Creator. Second point, Mount Zion was to become the holy place that God ruled. God told Isaiah that Jerusalem would wake up and stand. This was a continuation of how Jerusalem, the capital of South Judah, would be restored. This was God saying that He would no longer let those who were uncircumcised walk around Jerusalem. God was remodeling Jerusalem, which had become an evil place. Until now, Jerusalem was a place full of darkness. But God now commanded for Jerusalem to be cleansed and purified. This was much like God making human out of clay and then breathing life into their nostrils. This was God's grace and blessing, which He gave at no cost. For this is what the Lord says, You are sold for nothing, and without money you will be redeemed. When Isaiah heard God's promise, he praised the Lord. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. Isaiah's song contained the blessed news of South Judah's restoration, as well as God's deep grace. God told the people to stop making idols, and especially for the Levites to be more dedicated to their roles. Now Isaiah went on to sing his final song. See, my servant will act wisely. He will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him. His appearance was so disfigured beyond the depth of any human being, and his form marred beyond human likeness. So he will sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see, and what they have not heard, they will understand. Third point, the story of the Messiah reflects God's glory and peace. God told Isaiah about Jesus Christ, who came as the Prince of Peace. Later, in Isaiah chapter 53, the suffering of Jesus Christ was shown. The image of Jesus Christ's suffering had no beauty. He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. Second, 
the image of Jesus suffering was full of rejection from humans. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Third, the image of Jesus' suffering was brutal with stabbing and pain. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Fourth, the image of Jesus' suffering showed Jesus enduring through it. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. Fifth, the image read unto Jesus taking up the cross. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. Isaiah preached song of Jesus' suffering, as well as the peace that was to be achieved through this. Fourth point, God's plan of salvation was to restore the people back to Jerusalem after their years as captives and then by sending the Messiah. South Judah was given the promise that they would become prosperous again in the future. When they eventually returned to Jerusalem, they would be able to settle again in their homeland. God furthermore promised them that they would no longer be ridiculed and mocked in Babylon. God promised the people mercy and blessing once they returned from Babylon. Although South Judah was to lose their land for 70 years, they would be restored by God after this time. God compared this to the time He promised Noah and his family after the flood. Fifth point, God planned to invite the whole world through Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Now God told Isaiah about how God's people were invited to God's feast. God gave a long planned vision of eternal salvation. The most important thing here was that the people had their hearts on God. Anyone who had their full hearts on God could come to Him. This truly shed a light on how God was hard at work to make sure that all people from all nations had their hearts on God. God went as far as to send Jesus Christ in order to invite all nations to this feast. God told the people to repent, and then he would have mercy on them. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is dear. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord, and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.